So right now I'm walking down one of the most beautiful private beaches that our planet has to offer. And it's got me thinking about what in the world I had to do to ever be here or to ever deserve this or see a place like this. And as much as this may seem like, uh, like one of those typical sales videos that maybe you see, it's not. I just wanted to share this because my mind has been going crazy all day. Uh, very rarely do people have a chance to see something like this. And the point is that the number one thing that I had to do to make this happen was cut out the toxic people out of my life. And no matter who you are watching this video across the globe, there's a big chance that you might be somebody who needs to do that as well. And earlier I was sitting down with my good friend Harrison and I was looking through my old Instagram photos and seeing where I was in my life two years ago as a bartender stuck in a, not a nine to five, but a, a late night job where I was surrounding myself with terrible people that had bad habits and not my best interest at heart. And it held me back and you could be experiencing the exact same thing right now. And the message that I wanna share with you is that your number one priority should be yourself. And some people might say, well, Mike, that sounds quite selfish. But here's what I'm getting at is that in order for you to be able to move forward in your life and become successful or travel the world or find an amazing relationship, you have to develop yourself. People always say, it's not who you know, it's what you know. And people think that you have to know somebody amazing or have some sort of ridiculous connection to make something like this become a reality, right? And this is just a, a beach on the sand with the ocean. Like I get that. Um, and plenty of people make videos and they're like, oh, look at this amazing yacht I'm on. Look at this amazing beach. It's, it's not the point of this. Um, and there's no way watching through a video that you could see what I'm feeling now. But I wasn't always feeling this way until I had the epiphany that I needed to cut out all of the toxic people in my life. And I wanna give you a couple of pieces of advice for what it's worth if you'll take them from me on how you can do that. So when I was stuck in this position as a bartender, unhealthy, drinking myself to death in a horrible relationship and surrounding myself with people who did not have their best interest in becoming a better person. They didn't have any money, they weren't successful. So I cut them out of my life. And I've heard a lot of people say, well, oh, you're a sellout, like why would you do that to your friends? And how could you do such a thing? And here's what I've learned is that there are some amazing people in your life right now, but not everybody is meant to be in your life forever, okay? There are things that come and go there are experiences and things that happen in your life and there's love and travel and adventures and different things that you do and uh, they happen at a particular time in your life that can trajectory uh, change the trajectory of your life forever but those people might be gone or those things might not be happening anymore but they set you on a path that changed your life in maybe a small way maybe in a big way the way that I changed my life in an extremely big way was cutting out friends and toxic surroundings in my environment, including habits, and I encourage you to do the same. So here's my advice to you in a world full of politics and arguments and Facebook and egotism and all these different things. Find a way to eliminate it. Is it going to be hard? Absolutely. Uh, ignoring friends is something that I had to do not answering text messages and phone calls when people wanted to spend time with me. When I first decided to become an entrepreneur so that I could make this happen, I had people that influenced me to try to come back to the bar. They would say, hey Mike, well, you work for yourself now, so come to the bar and just take a shot. That's why you're doing this in the first place, right? And in the beginning, I thought to myself, well, yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, but you can't allow yourself. You can't allow yourself to do that. and so. My opinion is that you have to have the pig-headed discipline to cut off the fat in your life. 
It's mandatory. There, there's, there's no way you can move forward if you're surrounding yourself with people that drag you down. You are who you surround yourself with. I was surrounding myself with broke people who were on drugs and getting drunk every single night. They had horrible jobs. They were miserable. They didn't make any money, maybe $100 a week. Flat miserable, flat broke, oh, flat mindset. And you know what? I was exactly the same. You are where you are. You are where you are in your life because you've chosen to be there. I don't care what excuses you have. I don't care what you think may have happened to you in your life. We all have things that happen to us. We all have things that we didn't want to happen. All we all have things that we didn't expect to happen. It it doesn't matter. You can choose to be a winner or you can choose to whine about it like everybody else, right? You gotta stay open-minded or your mind will absolutely destroy you. And that's what happened to me. My mind was destroying me from the inside out. My health, my mental health, my physical health, my financial health, my overall well-being. And the saddest part is that it was all because I made the decision to hang out with people that were not moving me forward and progressing me in my life. So here's my message to you. Stop watching the news. Stop paying attention to Donald and Hillary and the politics. Turn off the TV. Don't read the newspaper. Stop looking at Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Stop feeding into people's negativity and drama. Do not surround yourself with people who are broke or unhappy. Do not allow the negativity into your life. I know this sounds like super spiritual and I guess it probably sound, seems spiritual because I'm walking on this amazing island here in Las Nomadas. Dominican Republic, in a third world country where I now see people living in mud huts and uh, some of the most unbelievable stuff that I've ever seen. And you know what I've realized is that people here, they don't complain about the crap that chances are that you might be complaining about in your life right now. They'd be grateful to have the problems that you have and the drama that you have and maybe even the iPhone that you have and the MacBook that you have and the home that you have, but they don't. So those are my thoughts for you. Take it for what it's worth. In 2014, I cut the worst people out of my life. I had a Boost mobile cell phone. I had negative $12 in my bank account. I lived in a house that was collapsing and falling apart from the inside out. But the external part of my life reflected the internal. What you've got to understand is that your input equals your output. So the question is, what are you putting into your mind? What are you putting into your body? What are you putting into your phone? What are you putting into your bank account? What are these things that you're putting into your life? You're inputting them. Just like a speaker, you plug in something that plays music and what comes out is the music from the speaker. You are the speaker of your own life. So what are you plugging into it? Is it something that's going to exponentially change your life in a good way? Or is it something that's going to absolutely destroy you? Maybe you'll die from diabetes. Maybe you won't retire. Maybe social security will fail you. Maybe the banking system will fail you. Maybe uh, your parents, friends, family, maybe your job will fail you. Maybe you'll work for 25 years for a company who doesn't give a shit about you and they'll flush you down the toilet like they do their other employees. You never know. So here's my point is, you gotta put yourself first. You're your own priority. What I learned from T. Harv Eker is that if you help one person solve one problem, you can make a little bit of money. If you help a lot of people solve that same problem, you can make a lot of money. And if you can help a lot of people solve a lot of problems, you'll become wealthy for the rest of your life, spiritually, physically, mentally, financially, forever. But you can't do that unless you're prepared to do so. There's no way that you could help someone else unless you are more developed than that person. And the only way that you'll get paid to do so is to help that person make advances in their life. And if you can't make advances in your own life, no one will ever pay you. Nobody will ever help you when you're down. Because if you hang around with people that are below you, there's no way that they can lift you up. That's my thoughts for the day. Talk to you soon.